It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Los Angeles Rams. And it's coming up next on Madden Football. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the city of angels, Los Angeles, California. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the Los Angeles Rams. Brandon Gond and Charles Davis, thrilled to be with you from the broadcast booth. And partner, before we get this thing started, what are you going to be watching? Who gets off to a fast start? In horse racing terms, they talk about catching a flyer out of the gate. Who sets the pace and makes the other team chase? coming into a hostile environment and just silencing the crowd. They just did it. Couldn't be a better start. There's no way. All week long, they've talked about having this type of a start, but I think they looked at it from the offensive team's perspective. You know, get the opening kickoff. You guys control the ball. A lot of people are now going to say, okay, now your offense, will they be out of whack? No, not at all. They're going to be absolutely happy. They're relaxed. They took care of business for them. They don't have any pressure now. They can just go play. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. And he'll put it through to make it 7 nothing Steelers. So how about that for an intriguing start? The opening kickoff of the ball game, return for a touchdown. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. This taken in right around the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So here are the Rams set to go to work on offense. And they're led by a man who topped the 50,000-yard mark in passing for his career a season ago. In year 15 now, here's Matthew Stafford. Stafford the Rams won it all in Super Bowl 56, but last season was a stark contrast to that. The Rams need their quarterback to recapture his form from two seasons ago to help spark another postseason run. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Second down and six now from the 26. Here's Stafford. That's caught, Puka Nakua. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. 
Back to throw. Stafford. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Williams. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Well, hang on now. We're going to pause here. We've got an injured player. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Second and six. Now it's Stafford. And that one's going to come up a little short. It's incomplete. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Stafford looks to throw again. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going to go down. Alex Highsmith making the nice play and getting the sack. With T.J. Watt injured for much of the 2022 season, Highsmith had a chance to emerge on his own. Six in the league with 14 and a half sacks and also led the league with five forced fumbles. So on fourth down, on is Ethan Evans to punt for the Rams. The back deep for the Steelers is Calvin Austin. That's taken on the 25. That'll go as a 42-yard punt, but a net of 32. They had a 10-yard return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. The Steelers' offense set for their first possession here, and it's Kenny Pickett who will lead the way, the second-year man, Charles, from Pitt. Pickett didn't quite lead Pittsburgh to the promised land in his first season as the hometown kid and franchise quarterback, but he did impress once he got on the field. Winning seven games helped keep the vaunted streak of non-losing seasons alive in the Steel City. Pickett leads his Steelers up here with a fresh set of downs at their 35-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Pick it in trouble, and down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And so much for that great field position to start the game. Now they're way behind the sticks. Can't wait to see what their second down call is going to look like now. some hot water now after that sack it's second and 21 pick it now from the gut here and his throw is incomplete and this drive was almost over before it began thanks to a great defensive effort sack on first down followed by an incompletion one more good rep and they get off the field an incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Working out of the gun, it's Pickett. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. Well, we could have counting yardage on that one, didn't we? That was truly third to mile, wasn't it? It was. I thought they might just go underneath, but they didn't. They wanted to get the first down there. Yeah, they tried to pick up the huge chunk unsuccessfully. I'm with you. I would have tried to take some yardage just to gain some field position. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Fielded at the 33. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Rams will go on offense here with the first and 10. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. So good field position for the Rams as they come up first and 10 at their 38. They begin the drive with Williams. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. A one-yard gain could look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. 
Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. Here's Stafford now on second down. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Throwing is Stafford. And that will be incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Here's Ethan Evans now. Now Austin. A nice work on the return as he gets about 15 yards back. And that will come the offense as they take over. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Pickett back to throw. He finds Pickens over the middle. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two at the 38-yard line. Second and a couple. Looking to throw, Pickett. He'll get this to his tight end. That's Pat Fryermuth. And Fryermuth going to have a Steelers first down as he'll get this up to the 45-yard line. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Off the play fake, here's Pickett. Harris has it over the middle. So five yards here, five on the play. And that will bring up second down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Pick it a look to throw it here. He'll let this go for the end zone. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Calvin Austin, a touchdown on a kick return, and now one through the air. And the Steelers have taken a two-touchdown lead now. So on third and medium, they dial up the pass, and it works to hit the end zone. And it's really not a surprise to me. That's a throwing down in the NFL because of how tough it is to run the football. But what offenses like to do is still show run formations to make them respect it and throw out of those. In this case, they took a nice shot at the end zone and made it pay off. Boswell good with the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. 
And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Jet sweep to start the drive. And that is not fooling anyone. He never had a chance to turn the corner there. And they'll go backwards right away. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Play action. Stafford going for the deep ball. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Mika Fitzpatrick. And the Steelers are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. So more problems here in this first quarter. Already two scores down, and here they give away the football. And if I'm the head coach, I think it's time to start lighting a fire under some of these guys. Now, you have to do it within your personality. They can't perceive it as fake. But I'd go get after some guys because they don't look ready to play to me. They look flat, uninspired. It's time to get moving. Pickett leads the Steelers up here with a fresh set of downs at their own 42. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. Boy, every time I see speed like that off the edge, Charles, I just don't know how these offensive linemen do it. I would think that they would get called for holding every play, and maybe they should have been called for holding on that one. Yeah, maybe not just holding, but sometimes you end up setting back in the offensive backfield a little bit farther to try and help you with the edge. That's a penalty as well. Sometimes you overset, they'll come inside of you. That's what speed does. It disrupts an offense. And right now, you've got to pay attention to this edge rusher on every single down. It looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackled him for a loss. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he is caught. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. The defense shaking their heads, not aggressive enough, and they allow him to convert a third and 18. Long developing route there on the post corner, but it was worth the wait. It certainly was. I love the way you described it because you do have to sell the post, usually a couple of steps towards the middle of the field in order to get the defender to turn his hips, and then he breaks off towards the corner, and off he goes. Well executed. On first and 10, it's Pickett. Completes it to Austin. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. Talk about a big first half. Already has the two touchdowns, adding to his receiving total there and picking up the first down. He's coming off the line so fast. I think he's intimidating the defensive backs with his explosiveness, and he's chipping away at their confidence. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Still first down. The false start backs him up five. First and 15. Pickett sets up play action. Dancing to his left. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Back to throw. Pick it. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. 
And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. Pick it. He'll look to throw it. And this is going to be incomplete. The L.A. defense up the snuff in coverage there. Pushes this to fourth down. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. Boswell's kick is good, and that'll make this 17-0 here in the opening quarter. Well, they already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. So an early advantage now to Goodwin. 17 nothing our score as they kick this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. Oh, some strong running. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. We'll see if they can do better here on this drive. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. Only able to gain a couple there, and that'll bring up second down. At the 38-yard line. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Now Stafford. It's complete to Williams. And he gets this only to the 41, not near enough for the first. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. Here's Austin. Just a net of 34 there following a punt of 44 yards. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. They've been off to the races already. A 17-0 lead. Now a chance for more here as they've got it first and 10. Now the third-year man, Najee Harris, and he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. At the 27-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Second down, six. Ball on the 27, here's second and six. They'll keep it on the ground, Harris again. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Now it looks like we're going to get a stoppage here. An injured Steeler on that last play. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Let's go, boy. 
Now they need two. Here's third down. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. It's a pickup of six. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take him the distance. But a short yardage, trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always oh, a nice luxury to have, isn't he? So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Pickett will look to pass it. Throw left side, hauled in by Pickens. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Pittsburgh getting 16 yards there and also a first down. Final 30 seconds of this first quarter, and it's been a quarter dominated by the guys with the football. Pick it to throw on first down. A short one there to Fryermuth. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. 17-0, our score after one. Steeler football here to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a first and 10. Now pick it. And his pass incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Here's second and 10. Harris running straight ahead. Down to the 30 after a gain of three. And the Steelers on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and seven. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And in for the Steelers, touchdown. Calvin Austin on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Steelers are able to add on to their first-half lead. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that into the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. Extra point put through by Boswell. And the route is on here in this first half. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. L.A. readies for its next possession. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but... The way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession. 
but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. And if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Second down and three. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. When you try to create space for your running back, the first thought is how physical is the offensive line? Sometimes it's just positioning. On that play, it didn't matter about positioning or being physical. The defensive front, they out leveraged them and won the battle. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now, that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. Now a first down throw, Stafford. Got a man open, it's Tyler Higby. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. So the completion good for seven there, and it's second down. Off of play action, here's Stafford. He's gonna air one out. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. A big play there for L.A. 43 yards. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. Here's Stafford. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. And that's the knowledge you gained from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Throwing again at Stafford. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Down near the goal line, things really get physical. You're always anticipating a running play, but when they do throw it, things happen quickly. A little bit of a bang-bang play there that falls incomplete. Now this will be play number eight on the drive. It's third and goal. Now it's Stafford. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. Now Brett Maher for the field goal try. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. The kick by Maher is good. And they get a little bit closer here as the lead's down to three touchdowns. That drive took him inside to 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. After the main field goal, Marr back out there to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25. Austin not going to try and return it. This Pittsburgh offense led by Calvin Austin running back out. We're in the second quarter. He already has two touchdowns. We know how good he is. That's well documented. How do you contain him? We know he's a nightmare. So in this situation, I would go ahead and double him. Maybe even have a third person in the area and try and dissuade them from throwing him the football. Make someone else beat me for a while because I don't know that their talents are his, 
because when he gets his hands on the ball, he breaks down my entire D. Someone else, they may not make the same type of a play. Well, we know his talents are very good. The run there on first down gets him a yard to the 26. Now that's the type of play that'll fire up the defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Pick it back to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First catch for him. It's good for a dozen and a first down. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. Now a second and ten. Pick it. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Everything looked right on that play except the conclusion. He dropped it. An in route going into a little bit of traffic. Maybe in the back of his mind, he was wondering where the hit was going to come from. And the Steelers on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and ten. Looking to throw. Pick it. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. On fourth down, here's Presley Harvin on to punt. This is taken at the 18. A 41-yard punt, nine on the return. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> fan, weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. He'll get a yard, that's all, as they get him down at the 28. Defense is always talking about earning the right to rush the passer on third down, and you know what offenses want? Win first down, so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there, not a big impact on first down. They work now on second and nine. Stafford now to throw. He'll get this one to Cup complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Stafford to his number one guy, Cup for a Los Angeles first. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. On first and 10, Stafford. Throw left side, complete to Cup. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll make it second down. Now a play fake it at Stafford. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So a costly penalty yardage-wise as that will move the football down to the spot of the foul. And what the officials are looking for in these situations, whether you're playing the man or the ball, and if you're playing the man, you get a lot less leeway in terms of what's going to happen at the end of the play. But if you're looking... Touchdown, Rams! Tyler Higby from 19 yards away. And the Rams...
Rodgers get a bit closer. The big fellow was the recipient there for that touchdown pass, and it seems like more and more the tight end is the guy you have to worry about most in the passing game. Brett Maher on for the extra point. And this is up and good. That'll make it a score now of 24 to 10. Just a four-play drive that time. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25. Austin not going to try and return it. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Pickett leads the Steelers up here with a fresh set of downs at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Ernest Jones, and he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. But when I looked down, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. So what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. And they'll start with great field position, trying to get back into this one. It's first and ten here. After the interception, here's Stafford. Across the middle, and this pass complete to Cooper Cup. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. To throw on second down to Stafford. And he checks this one down to Williams. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. They call it a loss of a yard there. And that'll bring up a third down and goal. And that's a great job of tackling right there. If he could have made the first man miss, maybe he could have taken it into the end zone. Instead, they stopped him pretty well right in his tracks. And you often see that in the red zone. Offense has to be quick. In this case, the defense. And he's got it. That's cut for a Ram touchdown. Eight yards on the touchdown pass, and the Rams are back within a score. They went empty backfield, all their weapons out wide, so there, there really was no secret here to what they were going to do. No secret, but they still had to execute it. They still had to protect the guy throwing the ball because oftentimes when you empty the backfield, people bring pressure at you. They managed to hold in there and successfully complete the touchdown pass. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And that cuts the lead to 
Catching the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25. Austin not going to try and return it. Now the Steelers getting set and ready for their next possession. The last drive for this offense, Charles, you remember it ended in one play, that quick interception, but they do still have the lead as they start this drive here. And that's something to focus on for them as well because it's not quite no harm, no foul, but the interception, hey, shake it off, move on. Hasn't cost your team the lead, and now it's time to rebound, and the quarterback and his teammates, they can add to the lead with a good drive here. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Off play action, pick it. Going across the formation, he finds Fryer move. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Good job there of getting his tight end involved because he lines up on the right side of the formation, just works his way across the field. I really like how they were in sync on that one. He spotted the open gap in the zone, and his quarterback found him, and they get a first down. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he powers through the first lane, but he's going to be swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and make sure nothing could get to the outside. But he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Working out of the gun, it's Pickett. up pushing him back 11 yards on the sack and that'll bring up third well many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation they keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger instead they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of Pickett and the Steelers in need of a big play here. Third and long after the sack. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Needs something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. On the give, this is Harris. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Here's Presley Harvin now. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And he fields it cleanly. They'll score that a 36-yard punt. And they will take over first and 10. And we can look at Cooper Cup as the Rams offense gets ready to take over possession. He's been good so far to this point in the second quarter. Need to get him even more involved, maybe? I would agree with that. Definitely. Uh, yeah, it's not even a question for me. The way he's playing, he's doing a nice job. Increase things. More touches, more opportunities. Maybe that can reverse things on the scoreboard for them. They'll try to ratchet things up then maybe here in the second quarter. On first down at Stafford. Pass complete there to Nakua. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Clock continuing to roll as the Rams try to get going again. Now Stafford. He'll drop this down to Williams, and he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Four yards, the pickup, first down. 
That was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Stafford on first down. And the defense loses him. It's complete. And he'll be forced out of bounds all the way down inside the 20. A big play there just before halftime. And even 40 yards. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? Got caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run. And the football right on the money. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Throwing is Stanford. Touchdown! 2-2 Two -two Atwell. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Rams are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. After nearly 30 minutes of football, that touchdown puts us in a position where if they make the extra point, we're right back to even before we start the second half. Mar on for the extra point. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So that drive, four plays. And the result for the Rams, a touchdown. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Steelers taking over now late in this first half. And with 40 seconds to go, that's, you'd think, time enough to try to mount a drive should they decide to do so. Pick it now on first down. A short one there to Firebuth. They'll give him four yards there, and that's going to bring up second down. Final play of the first half. Here's Pickett. Throw left side complete. That's Warren. And this will go to the 28-yard line. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll send you eastward to Orlando. Standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. started for the second half it was an even first half all tied on the scoreboard from a yard or two deep here comes a return and he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee maybe a yard shy of there at the 24 the Rams offense ready to begin quarter number three 
This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. Ball on the 28 yard line. Here's the second down and six. A shotgun snap for Stafford. That to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. Well, we all know possessions are crucial in a tie game, and let's face it, I really didn't need to tell you that. You already knew it. So when he sees he's got nothing good going, an excellent decision to just send that one to the sideline. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. A well-executed 22-yard gain. the middle it's Williams and he'll get what he can up the middle three yards that'll bring up second down from the 47 now to work with a second and seven Stafford they will find a man over the middle 2-2 two -two Atwell and a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. So third and two, this quite possibly four-down territory, though, if they're stopped. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford going to be taken in here by Nakua. And he is going to have a Rams first down by about a yard as they're able to convert on third and two. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. And he's taken down inside the 30. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run, and that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. A throw on the quick slant, going to be complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Again, it's Williams. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. It's been a struggle this entire game trying to move the ball on the ground. But every now and then, you find a little chink in the armor, and that type of run right there lets them know that they can't stop every single run for almost no gain. Here's Stafford. And it's caught. Touchdown, Rams. Matt 
Matthew Stafford finding Cooper Cup for the touchdown there. And the Rams have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. Mar now to add the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead now. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it ends with Cooper Cup on the receiving end of the touchdown pass. Touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Time for the Steelers' offense now to get set for their first possession of half number two. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point, but it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense, plenty of time to get back in this game. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. What a way to start a drive. An excellent run, a tone setter. And now, if you want to take a shot on second down and go play action and make it look like the same exact play and throw it over the top, you can do so because you've established the run in a big way. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A nice carry by Harris, who had tougher sledding than in his Pro Bowl rookie season, but still topped 1,000 yards as a Steeler sophomore. As Pittsburgh tries to climb back to the top of the AFC North, he remains a player that their offense relies on. Pick it now to throw off the play fake. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. That's a tough spot for a running back coming out of the backfield because you know he's got to look for the football. Knowing full well, he's got a man coming his way, full steam, and he broke that one up. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Pickett, he'll look to throw it. A short one there to Fryerview, and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. The Rams go nickel here defensively on third. Looking to throw, pick it. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. It's a loss of 10 on the sack, and it leads to fourth. Even the most elusive quarterbacks have those tough days where they can't avoid sacks, and this is one of them. Third time he's gone down. He might develop some happy feet now, want to escape the pocket and try and gain more yardage with his legs. The Steelers send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. Get a look at this offense led by Cooper Cup as they make their way back onto the field. He's been his typical solid and reliable self, hasn't he, Charles? When you have that go-to receiver that you can count on in the situation where you absolutely have to have him, there's nothing better for anybody who's throwing the football. But the best part is the payoff. Two touchdowns already. That's the bottom line when you throw the ball to a guy. Absolutely. Not over 100 yards right now, but he does have the two touchdown catches. 
A nice looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. On first down, Stafford here. Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. Here's Stafford. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. I'm darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Now Stafford. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Move the chains, a gain of seven on third down. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Another connection between the two. This one good for 12 and a first down. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Now a 10th carry. Here's Williams. And he'll get this just inside the 30-yard line. No, that wasn't an explosive run. That wasn't one that took it all the way to the house. But boy, for a team that's had trouble running it the entire game, that's the kind of run they need, hopefully, to get themselves kick-started. And they'll work from the 29 on second and six. A toss to the wide side. This is Williams. Down right around the 25. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. Now Brett Maher for the field goal try. He hit his first one, this from 44 yards out now. The kick by Maher is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So given three on that drive, you know, normally you'd say we'll take it, but the way points have been flying around, it feels like a little bit of a letdown. Yeah, you just have to wonder, are field goals going to be enough? Because as you pointed out, the way touchdowns have been scored, does kicking a field goal actually put you at a disadvantage the rest of the way? After the main field goal, Marr back out there to kick it away. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Yeah. 
second and five. From the gun, here's Pickett. On the right side, this is Austin with a catch. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. He has a first down, and that catch will also put him over 100 yards receiving now on the afternoon. They hand this off to Harris. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play, so we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Los Angeles. It's the Steelers with the football, but trailing here as we get going in quarter number four. Meanwhile, Pickett's throwing to the hands of Pickens. Seven yards there at a first down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. They'll try the right side with Harris. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. It's interesting going into this game, there was so much talk from both sides about who would control the line of scrimmage. I think we've seen who has it in this one so far. Well, they've bottled him up. He's barely averaging over three yards a carry right now. And we're at the 41, second and nine. Pickett back to throw. He finds Pickens over the middle. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to bring up third and two. This is Harris. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. Pickett's throw hold in by Washington, and he is out of bounds inside the 30. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. Brings up second and seven. Let's go. Pick it a look to throw it here. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41 yard line. Byron Young, the one who got in and finished that playoff. Remember, throughout my career here in defensive coaches, always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Pickett and the Steelers in need of a big play here. Third and long after the sack. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. The Steelers send out their punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. So now here are the Rams as their offense comes back out. 
Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 11. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive into the hands of Skoranek. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. Now Stafford. Man open left side, it's Williams. And it'll be stopped at the 28. On a play that started at the 14, they pick up 14. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Stafford on first down. He's got Cooper Cup on the slam. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. To throw on second down is Stafford. And, oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead, you've got to protect it, and he's taking chances putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? From the gun on third down, Stafford. Short throw, it's Higby. And he is going to have a Rams first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. That's complete to the tight end, Hopkins. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Throwing again at Stafford. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Throwing is Stafford. Screen play set up for Williams. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Back to throw, Stafford. Pass complete there to Nakua. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They 
They run it again with Williams. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. On third down, here's Williams. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game against them, but tally that one on the side of the defense. Do you think maybe, possibly, it could be a little bit of a changer for them? Maybe not a game changer, but a little bit of a momentum one that maybe they can string together some pretty good plays and slow them down. Marr able to put this one through, and that will extend their lead even further. So he remains perfect three for three in the field goal department. And it's so important for any offense to have an ace like him up their sleeve, isn't it? Because now you know what his range is, and as soon as your offense gets there, you're pretty much counting on three points going up on the board. To the main field goal. Marr back out there to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25. Austin not going to try and return it. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Pickett leads the Steelers up here with a fresh set of downs at their own 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Over the middle complete. It's Warren. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. And a good start there on first down. They've got to have this drive. No doubt about it. Down a couple of scores. They have to find a way to put it in the end zone. Chunk plays, explosive plays. That will be the key to this drive. Here's Pickett on second down. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. But Charles, they're trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. About the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. They run the play fake. Here's Pickett. A quick throw there is incomplete. Pat Fryermuth, the intended target. And now it's second down. Pickett, he'll look to throw it. Well, he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. And now offensively, it's third and ten. And I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller's thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. Throwing on third down. Here's Pickett. Boy, he almost did that himself, but it looks like he's about a foot or two short. The scramble good for a nice gain of 10 yards, but still fourth down. Pick it, fourth down, desperation time. He'll let it fly for Austin. And this is going to be intercepted. And the Rams are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. 
Well, I guess an interception at this point on fourth down is just as bad as an incomplete pass. Either way, the ball goes over to the other side. Yeah, it's a tough spot to be in this late in the game, and there's not a whole lot he could do there. And he winds up giving the ball away. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 15. He'll hand this to Williams to start things out. And he finds enough of an opening to get this one back up to his 20. 45 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Got to figure now after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Williams going to get it again on second down. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. It's a Rams first down on a pickup of 10. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Rams football here as we get you reset. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll try and run down some clock with Williams. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Now a second and six. Now a man who's been busy this afternoon. It's oh, he put it on the curb and a fumble. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. Well, that's one of those mistakes. That's a fumble that when they get to the sidelines, I know you're mad, Coach, but look, we've still got this locked down, but that's not necessarily true, is it? Well, their hopes are slim, but you just hate to give them any hope. You could have sealed it right there. Yeah, could have finished them off and, and taken away all hope, as we like to say. So here's Pickett and the Steelers. Down by 13, a minute 50 to play. Can they take advantage of the late carelessness? We'll see as they've got a first down. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Yeah, he's going to take this all the way down the Steelers 12 yard line it's a gain of 34 starting to look like this drive it may be the final nail in the coffin well this is why you work out so hard right this is why you spend all that time in the offseason this is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations these scenarios to run someone into the ground and secure a victory the Rams go victory formation as they take the knee
So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. So the L.A. Rams with a victory here. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last point of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it 